I was attending this session um, in which a very senior leader from the digital media was invited as the guest and I had asked him a question. His response actually set me thinking. Now he said, as a leader in an organization, I am not responsible for every team member to figure out what's best for him um, to you know to to find out what excites him what inspires him and uh, bring out the best in him maybe to a certain extent but i am not his mom or dad to really get into the depth of it and uh, go about the process what do you think <laughs> Hi, I'm Astha Tatia, daughter of two rock-solid pillars, mother to a lovely daughter, wife of a humor king, an engineer, MBA, corporate executive turned anchor person, now a happiness coach helping leaders become the most sought-after leaders by creating deep connects and meaningful relationships in their organizations. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So. What do you think? You know, uh, I was attending uh, my daughter's parent-teacher meeting yesterday. So it was um, an online thing, a five-minute slot assigned for uh, every child and very nicely, systematically planned out thing so that nobody has to wait and uh, it's done well. And um, so it was me and my daughter uh, we were there and her class teacher and other teacher and the vice principal, they were all there on the other side. And a quick five minute review. So the teachers were all praises and they said she is a very well behaved child. And they spoke about it. That's so amazing. and really nice so one part of it was this is really amazing and then they spoke about the scope of improvement so you know if she could uh, the speed was a challenge so if a little bit of a push and she speeds up so things will be amazing and uh, the vice principal then mentioned that also, if you could encourage her to participate in all the extracurricular activities that are happening. Right. Now, I absolutely salute to the work that they're doing. Not easy. Little kids, uh, by the way, my daughter is nine years old. So little kids, handling them, bringing in that passion, they may be going through their own challenges of the current pandemic. And still they bring that passion every day to the table, which is amazing. The intention of sharing with me, phenomenal. But when I just got thinking about it and I try to get to the root of it, uh, number one, you're validating a certain behavior. Okay. So she is well behaved in the class for her. That's the way to be. And coming from the teachers, oh, she's amazing, so great, very well behaved. She speaks this way, that way. It is validated now. And you know, after the, the meeting, when I asked her that, why are you different in the class? Why don't you behave the way you do with mama? And she just smiled. She's like, no, I will not behave like that. So clearly, you know, she, to my mind, to my mind, whatever I could gather from her, from that little conversation and what she said, she is being somebody else in the classroom. And why is she being that somebody else? Because um, she's getting validation for that. That this is the way to be. And she's being praised for that. She's being acknowledged for that. And hence, that's the way to be. 
and when she sees other students who are creating a mischief um chatting in between doing stuff and being um taken to task for that or called out for that it just sets her thinking that no that's not how i should do because i want to be the best i want to be appreciated i want to be acknowledged for everything that i do and that whole image game starts to play right at this tender age of 9 and rather 9 is much later that i'm talking maybe even before that right so that was one part the second part when when she said participate in all those different activities and she is very selective when it comes to participating in activities and that again brought forth the point that yes i understand your intention of um putting child through various activities and letting them explore and figuring out what excites them however that somewhere uh interrupts with the basic essence of this life of us being a human being if i cannot just be myself if i uh have to go through a sequence of things because that will get me the validation that will get me an acceptance in that circle i i mean can i not just be so so to my mind if my daughter doesn't want to participate in maybe any of the activities is it not okay is it not fine i mean can i let her decide Yes she's small but I do not know what she's feeling or what rather if I have to really uh, hear her out if I really want her to share with me then I need to be okay with respecting and accepting what she wants else what's the point and that made me think of the schools as mini corporates I mean what do we see in the corporates is a reflection of these little little um you know buds who are now blossoming and would be the future leaders of course i don't know what things are going to be 10 years from now however when today we see people so so um rigid on their wants this is how you're supposed to be this is what you should be this is a good leader the, the way they classify the way they kind of uh, disregard people for lack of certain attributes and are not willing to explore because of we, you know we're so busy running that race we're part of an organization it's a business we have targets we're running an organization it's not a charity where we're nurturing people i get that but ultimately we're all dealing with people we're dealing with human resource and this whole um, you know the disparity which just starts from the childhood itself where the whole labels the validation the invalidation you are well behaved or you're not well behaved you're good at this or you're not so good at this assigning those labels to the kids and pushing them into things which maybe they're not very very keen on where they're reluctant and eventually uh you know that becoming a part of their conditioning where they realize that this is the way forward if i have to move forward and if i have to be successful and if i need to gain everybody's validation then this is how i'm supposed to be because when i am this everybody likes me everybody praises me everybody talks about me and in that process somewhere that actual the original me is lost and i dare not bring that original me in front of everybody and and i have no time to help you you know uh, connect with that original you and figure out what you really want because i don't have that time right now in the childhood in the schools you want those good students there because they are going to take get that name fame to your school 
right and there's absolutely no time you have only so much time so you could either nurture those already good students or you could spend time with those not so good ones supposedly the tags that you've assigned so you could spend that time with them helping them to walk move further and i'm not saying you don't do that that does happen by all means but it i'm saying that whole discrimination if i was to use that word starts at that initial level so why do we wonder when you know when we see it in the corporates when we see it in um, different organizations in businesses everywhere we want the best people to be a part of our teams and we have no time to help people figure out how they can be their best how they can be their best that whole comparison thing is so ingrained in the society so that was something uh, that just came to my mind that uh, when it starts at such a young tender age and then it goes on and on i think if we really want a shift somewhere if because it's these people who have started forming their beliefs these little kids who've already started forming their beliefs with the labels that have been assigned that this is the way to be and they go on to become those leaders and leaders who are living from that same belief system how can you expect a different action or a different behavior when that's the belief system that they're living with and and i think uh, if at all there has to be a more empathetic approach that needs to be brought to the whole thing then it needs to start from the very foundation we cannot really expect the fully grown up experienced leaders to completely turn around we do that we have all the interventions and that's where we work right but that requires the work on the core beliefs the beliefs that they are living with that's causing them to act and behave in the way that they are doing however if that whole shift turn around needs to be brought about then that has to start at this root level so that is it if this just opens up some wiring inside if it just makes you think and you have some opinion here please feel free to share it in the comment box it's really important and i would love to know what do you think about this whole system we're all a part of it and we've been a part of it we have our kids going to schools and um, yeah so would love to hear and if you like it please hit the like button subscribe to the channel be a part take care thank you so much bye bye